Hey guys, it's Mel. Hope you're all doing well, enjoying this nice weather. If you're anywhere close to me, you may have different weather. But um, it's been in the 90s the past few days. I was off yesterday. I have to work today, but um, I don't have to go until later. So it was so nice playing out in the backyard, and hopefully you guys are getting some outside time because it just lifts your spirits. I don't know. I just like it. So anyway, let's get into it. I have a Hobby Lobby haul. I went two separate times and um, from Michael's. So I will get started and it's a lot of random little goodies and then I have some online things to show you and um, a mention of uh, a future swap. So um, let's get started. So I got a few and I'm now excited. So now I'm going to like take a little rest from my Copic markers. So I have, I'm the Copic marker type of person. I love them, but I don't have to have every color and I don't have every color, but I do need the basics. So I'm just kind of working on my basics. Like you need a yellow, an orange, you know, a red, and then some browns and of course your skin tones and some grays. So I just have a few of each. So I need like a good solid pink. So whether it's just the darker and the medium shade or the three shades. So um, I've been seeing a pink combination. I do a lot of research and I watch, you know, different combinations and I see how I like how they look. So I got um, some pinks. So I got here, I got R81, R83, and R85. That's a good combo if you're looking for, you know, some pink. So I got that one. Then I got um, R29, which is lipstick red because I had I I didn't I only had two darker reds um, so I got that one and prawn I got lipstick red and I also got this one because I was I had light prawn and then I had the medium color and then I didn't have the darkest so for the longest time so I got that and then the yellow I had was Y38 and I got Y11 and although they're not right next to each other they're like a darker yellow so if you're doing like a fire campfire like it's good to have the pale one and that but then if you just want the yellow that's what I have that one for so I got some Copic markers so I can add these to my collection and um, I think I forgot one there's one other one that I got recently but um, but that really adds to mine and one day I'll show you guys my Copic collection just to kind of show you because I like when people show especially if you don't have a lot, a lot of markers. Um, I just don't think there's a need for me to have that many. If you're an artist or, you know, if you're really, really, um, like fully a hundred percent like into them, um, then go ahead and get them. But that can really get costly. So luckily with my discount and with that, um, they came to around $4 a marker. So that was good for the sketch. And I do like the sketch better. I have some chow markers, but you can't see like the name on them or the color like right away. I mean, it's on the cap. So I bought a little circle punch and I want to write real small just so I can see. But then like, like some of them aren't available um, in chow. So then I had some sketch, but like when I have like a trio of colors, like I want to be able to see them. So I'm kind of going with this sketch now. Plus they say they're a little bit larger. So they hold a little, a little more ink. So that's what I went with. So then, um, I guess today's trip I'll show you. Or I'm just going to show you however they come. So I got these two things. And this is a little odd thing. But they were on clearance for $1.70. And I have some ideas for these. So these were really cute. They're just little hangers that, I don't know, I guess you hang them from this way. Because I see that there's no um, hook on the back. They had three of them there. But the last white one was chipped on the side. Um, and these ones aren't in perfect shape. But I think I have an idea for these. So I don't, I really like this wood color, so I don't know if I could still use it, but I want to make this thing for my mom. Um, just a little wall hanging that says grandkids and then attach little um, clothespin clips and have really small photos that I can make with my selfie in either sepia color or black and white, probably black and white for this one. And then, you know, have it say grandkids and have really small pictures of each of our, or each of our grandkids. And I can pick, I can make them pretty small with my photo collage app and um, print them out on my selfie. So that's a cute little gift and for a dollar seventy and then it probably came to like a dollar I don't know dollar twenty five something like that with a discount so um, I was excited for that so I got two of them so I got a project in mind for them so I think they're cute they're even cute as is but I think I might alter them a little bit so I got that and then I got this which is this is another odd thing but this was in the cards and party section if you're in there like where all the birthday stuff is and what this is this came to I think a dollar fifty with my discount um, but this, I thought this would be perfect and I ended up being right, which isn't always the case. I need a little space. I don't have many, but from Paper Tray Ink, I have some of their $5 sets 
And I don't want to go bother and putting them all in my Avery L thing. So I wanted it just a little spot for all of them. And I have more than this. But these, I just wanted to show you, they fit perfectly in here. So you can have this, you know, on your desk and kind of just the rubber band now. But just kind of flip through um, your little mini sets if you have these. So um, that fit in there perfect. And they have them in different colors. I think they had pink, white, green. Um, but I like the purple. So I got that one. Um, that little thing from Hobby Lobby. Then I got some, these were on the clearance wall for 30 cents, but they have two sheets and there's 42 pieces of gold foil hearts. So although I guess it was from Valentine's Day leftover, um, but for 30 cents, these are cute to add for cards and layouts and such. Um, I got two, these were on sale this week, still are now. Where's the other one? I'll have to open it. Let's see if it looks in there. Here it is. I got two of these. They had a bunch of them. These are just, and there's 36 pieces. They say happy birthday. I wish they came in this font for this one. I'll show you that next. But these are good to add. Like if you're just making a card and you just need a small little space and, you know, you're already, like a lot of times I'll create my card and there's dimension on it. So I don't want to go heat embossing or doing, you know, other things on there. So um, these are just quick, easy when I don't have a stamp or a stamp that'll fit um, things that can put happy birthday on there. So I got them and there's so many and they were half off. So they were a dollar for um, 36 stickers. So there's more on the back. So you get tons of them, and then this one's 32 pieces, and it says congratulations. But what I like about these stickers, because sometimes stickers turn me off as far as, like, I don't know, they look too cheapy sometimes. And then some stickers are nice, but I like that these are on a clear, like, they're actually clear stickers. So they would kind of blend in with whatever color cardstock you had. So that's why I got those. Um, then I might as well show you these other ones here. So then I got... Um, hmm. These were half off as well. Um, I know we're not in fall season, and Hobby Lobby is already has their fall and Christmas out. We had to unpack that all yesterday, um, well, a few days ago. So um, maybe I'm just feeling that. But I love fall. My mom says, because my mom used to work at Michael's when, you know, she was younger. And they had, like, she said that that stuff kind of got her sick of the holidays, like the the Christmas stuff, because they had to put it all out, clean it all up, and then clearance it all out, you know, and do all that. And I hope that doesn't happen to me. And I don't, I could see where it would happen. And not that I'm not into paper crafting anymore. But sometimes seeing all that stuff and cleaning it all up and putting it back, especially the papers, when everybody just puts it wherever it goes, it can kind of turn you off a little or like if you see so much in your craft room. So I mean, it's good and bad. So there's then you still see the new thing. So I'm definitely so excited about it. And I hope my husband's like, I hope that doesn't happen to you. He's like, I like that you like the fall. You know, I really I like Christmas too, but fall is my thing. So um, that's why I guess I got these and these were half off too. But these are like the clear stickers as well. And it just says little things. But I thought these would be cute to add on the actual photo just to give it a little dress up, but not too much dimension or anything. It just has a lot of cute sayings and some acorns and there's two sheets. There's 50 pieces in here. So that was a dollar. You can't beat that for these clear stickers. And this one was $2.49. There's only 12 pieces in here, but they're a little bit um, fancier. I don't know if you can see, but that's like, I really like this autumn. So it's like gold foil in there. But how cute would that be on a, like a family photo at the bottom corner? Family is for always. Um, give thanks, harvest, fall. Fall greetings, family, acorns, pumpkins, some designs, sunflower stuff, leaves. So this was only one-sided. And this one, like I said, only has um, fall gold foil, it's called, and it only has 12 pieces. This was $2.49 and then half off of that. So still not too bad, but you don't get as much in that one. So those were my stickers. I don't really do stickers a lot because, I don't know, but sometimes you really just want to have that quick thing on you. Then I thought this was cool, and this came to about two something, you know, a little cheaper. This was a little stencil, and it was on clearance, Jenny Bolin, and it's that design there. I don't have a lot of stencils, but when I get them from Simon Says Stamp, they're $6.99. So for like two twenty five, dollars probably about, this is cute. So got that one. Then I got this, which I didn't know that this would be, because all their paper packs are um, half off, but this was over with like the stamping. I got this little mini pack of Copic marker paper to try out too. I've been trying it. It says 70 pounds marker paper. And it says suggested for use with Copic markers, acid free. So there's 50 sheets in here, I think. 
Am I right? Or is it 25? There's so many different, like, 30 sheets. 30 sheets of 70-pound marker paper. And, yeah, that's just another language. But, yeah, so they're already pre-cut, so I'm going to try that out and see um, how that goes. So it's cheap enough. So that was $4.99, then half off. So that came to, with my discount, probably, like, $2.25, something like that. I don't know. So that was nice. Then I got, for Talia and Mind, um... She is turning two on June 29th, and then we're having we're gonna have a little barbecue for her. But it's probably gonna be because my husband works night work the weekend before, so the weekend after, so the Sunday, just because I know I'll be off on Sunday. Um, that one um, is when we'll have our party. So she's having a little barbecue. So I want to make this little. I think I'm gonna do like a mermaid theme, but I want to do this. I got this really pretty paper. It's a dollar ninety nine regularly. But it was a dollar on sale. But I don't know if the camera's going to pick up how chunky and pretty this glitter is. And sorry I'm shoving it in your face. But I just want you to see. So I got two. Did I get two or three of these? I think I got, yeah, I got two of these. Because um, I want to cut out Talia's two um, in those. So hopefully I'll be able to fit that in there. If not, I work there. So I can go get more at mine. I like to go to the other Hobby Lobby though. Because I don't like to bother my manager. And I like to just go in there and relax and look around. So this one's called Solid Glitter Blue Star and this one was a, a dollar instead of a dollar ninety nine too because it was half off. But so not only is it the chunky blue glitter and you probably can't see this close, but can you see those stars in there? Are they showing up? Hopefully they are so you can see them. I, I can't tell. But um but yeah so I got this one so this one was a dollar. Actually they're probably closer to seventy five cents but um by the end of with my thing on there. So but that was cool. Then I got this um, Distress Sprayer. It was $4.99, and then, um, but I got this one that was on sale. Um, so this one, I wasn't going to get this because I have so many spray bottles because those of you who follow me for a while, I am a licensed, oh, it has a lock and an unlock button. How fancy. Um, I might need that for Talia. She likes to squirt the water, and she'll, like, squirt it in her eye and, like, squirt it, and she thinks it's so funny. But I have so many of these, um, I started to say. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, those of you who are new to my channel. And welcome. I notice I've gotten so many new subscribers, and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad um, you joined along. So I love to chat, as you can tell. So I'm sure you'll get to know me. But anyway, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I have a ton of these for doing hair, like, around the house. And I also have one to water my flowers. I like, I like to just wet the leaves so it gives them a little drink. So between all those around, I thought, I'll just use them. But then I saw how this one, it does something different. It gives you more splatters. So you can try to do it with a regular cheapy spray bottle or even one from the dollar store. But this wasn't too much more with the sale on my discount. But this one leaves fatter droplets that you can dry up. So I wanted, I wanted to try that with my distressing. So that and then there is more. Then I got this, which was on clearance as well, um, for $2.99, and then it was a little cheaper. But this is Chit Chat um, Seasonal Chit Chat Seasonal Stickers. It's 924 stickers um, from Tim Holtz, but it says a lot of things. Like I'll just go over quickly: Holiday Jolly, Glisten, October, Autumn Harvest. You know, I like the fall ones. Thankful. And it says Kisses Together, Ornament, Frosty Night, Pilgrim, Holiday. Bones, you know, Fourth of July, Dedication, Twinkle, Jingle, Heart Season, so all types of stuff. But um, here's what they give you on the back. So I guess it gives you three of the sheets in white and three of the sheets in um, like craft color. So I'll just show you really quickly. So it has all these little, and you see how they're separated, little stickers. So um, I don't get a lot of Tim Holtz things, although I just showed you that other one. Because um, I'm not really into like the grungy, I don't know what that's called, steampunk look. Um, but I know a lot of people love him and love his stuff. I love his tools. I'm a tool, I like his tools. They're very high quality. But like here's the um, craft color. So, and then there's a few more. It just has a lot of festive gingerbread decorations, Scrooge. Fun. See, that's fun. The Scrooge. So these would be cute to add on your layouts or even mini albums. Just right on the corners of photos. And you could, like, stagger. Just do a few. Like, a little cluster of three. So I was excited to get that. And then, this is what I wanted to share. I got... I picked up these. They were $2.99. And they're gold foil. And they're a good size little treat sacks, gift bags. Because... I want to do, and hopefully you guys are with me, and I'll have to limit this one um, as I often have to. And then, again, if you don't make this one, 
um, and leave a comment below if you'd be interested in this. I want to do a die cut swap, and by die cut I mean um, we use up our you know our dies that we have and cut it, run out and cut out a bunch in nice pretty paper. Like I'll go over the rules and stuff um, closer to the time, but. Um, just let me know your interest. It doesn't mean you're in or whatever. I'm going to do an actual like call for these and then the first people to first few people to comment and then I'll have to cap it off so there's not too many and doesn't get too confusing or too much work for me. Um, but I'd like to do a die cut swap where we die cut out of your prettiest papers and um, you know, maybe your sparkle paper, your glitter paper, metallic paper, or even just, you know, pretty colors and um, and make a little gift bag, a goodie dress, dress up gift bag for each of the people in this swap. And that way, um, everybody will mail them to me with your, you know, your send back with your self address package to go back to you. And then you'll get one from each person. So you'll get a good little variety of already made die cuts, you know, for your little collection. So I thought that'd be fun. So I got that with this in mind. And there's um, 24 in here for 2.99. So I didn't think that was bad. These never go on sale on Cards and Party at um, at Hobby Lobby. So that's the price that's on there. I got these two, and you're not gonna not gonna be much fun. These were on clearance for 3.59, but it was three of these little brushes in three different sizes. So there was like a medium, a small, medium, and a large um, in here. And these are really expensive. But even I looked, the real actual price of these were $5.99 just because they're, um, a different brand. But if you get like the Tim Holtz or, you know, those water brushes, they're $12.99 each for one. So to get three in three different sizes, I thought that was cool. And I used them already, which is why they're not in the package. So then, um, let's, I got, no, I got a few more things. So then I got these. So I think these are so fun. So first I will show you this. This one, we are going to Maryland in June, so I'm excited for that, um, Ocean City, Maryland. Um, we have family there, and you know, but we're just kind of going for vacation. All my family's going, so I'm excited, and my kids are so excited. So this one is Soak Up the Sun by Alicia Gordon, and it's by Cartabella. And here is all the, um, I never really buy these kits, but this one was really nice, and it was half off. So it was regularly $9.99, so then it came to 5 and then whatever my discount took off additional. But it gives you these. It has these little, um, I didn't open it in there, so maybe I'll open it for you now. But here is the whole sticker sheet. So I love this little um, a Ferris wheel and the rides. And then it says, life is one big, crazy, silly, happy, awesome adventure. It says, adventure, summertime, thanks, missing you. Hello there, take a note. Every summer has a story. Life is better in flip-flops, a big summer word. Happy, go lucky, and cameras. All types of things. So, and then it has these fun borders on the side. So let me see if I'll open it, because it says it comes with, I think it's, is it 9 or 12? Kit contains 9 12 by 12 double-sided texture papers, and this is like high 12 by 12 element stickers, and it's high quality um, texture paper, it says. So here is the sticker sheet, and these more feel like um, cardstock stickers. So that's cool. Then there are, oh, they are double-sided, so I'll quickly go through the paper. There's no such thing as quickly with me. But here's one, and these are nice, thick, really nice, like, really, really nice papers. Wow. I like this one. The little one-piece bathing suits. And then this one's cool. It's like the sky. I don't know if you can see. These are like, see that texture on there? They're like, almost like watercolor paper. And I think that's what helps with them being so thick. But they're really, really nice. I like this one. So... This one has little popsicles on it, and then the back is like a stripey. Um, this one is little polka dots. This one's probably my least favorite. I don't know. I just get sick of seeing the flowers, I guess, but it coordinates. So maybe I could use it as a layout. I, I mean, as a frame. For, I like this one. Hot air balloons. There's that one. Then there is... This one's cool. It's got a bunch of cut apart. So on the back, it has these little shapes. Stick up this one. And then um, this one has a bunch of cut apart. So it says, summer is time, and I'm reading this backwards. Summer is time for warm nights, lemonade, picnics, campfires, barbecues, and cloud gazing. That's really cute. Then summer happiness, hello summer, and stay cool. You can cut these, whoops, these individually. Then a little journaling spot with a pinwheel. Good times together. Remember these days, I like that, um, it looks like old fashioned bathing suit. Um, let's go for a spin. Um, this one says, summertime carnival and fun fair with a little circus thing, you anchor me. Um, summer bucket list, I really like that one. I think that might have sold me. The summer bucket list and I like that one a lot too. 
um, and say hello to summer. So it has all those little cutouts and that little border on the bottom. And that was the back of that one. Then there's this one with the ice creams. Really pretty colorful ice cream cones. Some are upside down, some are straight up. And then a little border strip. And then it has this sheet green. This looks like green grass chevron. It's nice. But again, I don't know if you can see the texture and the distress on there. This one's really cute. You could cut it apart, which is probably what I would do. Or you could leave it straight. Um, I mean, leave it as is. So there's the hot air balloon and little, what are they called, Vespas, Hello Summer, Camera, Sun, Summer, Ice Cream Truck, Picnics, Crabs, Beach Ball, um, Camera, Popsicles, Sun, all types of stuff. And then here's the back. Looks like little waves. I guess you could put it that way. So that's cool. Then here's another cut apart sheet. And it has, um, it says Hello Summer. In the summertime, when the weather is high, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. So after that song, um, you make me happy. It says, lazy summer days, fresh ice cream, best product. And I really like that. That's like a real little um, carousel. That's cute. So hopefully we'll put tally on those there. And then this is just the front, you know, the welcome sheet, I guess we'll call it. So you get all that stuff in there and then the, all, the, all the stickers. So, um, so yeah, so I was excited for that. So this came to like $4.25 something around there so for that whole kit so I was excited for that so that'll be fun for our Marilyn my pictures that I'll take a ton of and then really fun I got this um this was uh new it just came in for us so we didn't have any more but um this says oh goody it's 24 glassine paper ombre sheets for for each of six designs and this by we are memory teachers we are memory keepers so um it says food safe and grease resistant so it shows them making these little um see if there's like rock candy in the one and these little goodie bags and it shows it says perfect for making bags with um with the goodie bag guide but i don't need that i have a um Sizzix little bag die and you could cut them out like i don't know how these would go on your cricket but i want to show you these so sorry for the sound i know some people don't like that opening up sound but i have to pull it out all right, so here is what they look like, and hopefully I can hold this back enough to show you. So there's four of each, so there would be four of these, and see how it's like an ombre? And it's like the glassy, glassine bag. It's like waxy. I don't know if you can see that. So I just like having, like, special kind of papers to do things like this. So I could even, for our swap, I could even make my bags. So there's four of that color, and then I'll show you the other colors. There's four of these green colored one ombre ones and then there are four of these two three four of these yellow um so there's the yellow ombre so it's not picking up how pretty these are in real life and they are like the glassine i just love glassine bags and i'm not even sure is there somewhere that you can buy them in bulk like for cheap um everywhere i've seen them they're kind of pricey um but I like I do like them and I like sending little goodies and packages in them. So um, then this is really pretty, like a corally orange color ombre. So that one, I guess it's not that coral once it's down with the others, but it looks good to me. There's another one, and then there is I think that no, there's a dark pink and a light pink. So here's the dark pink. That's really pretty too. So dark pink and another dark pink and then here is the last one so there's the, like the light pink so yeah so I just wanted to show you in case you guys didn't see that and that was um I think these were either $8.99 or $9.99 and then they were half off this week because it's all like packs and stuff so that was fun and I got all those little specialty papers in there so um those were my goodies oh I have one more thing from the where did that go this was from the scrapyard I've been trying to be good on there and not buying as much but I saw this and then when I thought about it it wasn't that good of a deal a lot of time the shipping was kind of pricey for just the stamp but you know it is what it is so I got this and you're not gonna be able to see it too much but it's like these two little cute um ice cubes and I think this is a unity stamp because I've seen it before and I wanted it but um it was when it first came out and I didn't want to pay that full price for it so there's two little ice cubes and I don't know if that's like a puddle or whatever it is and they have little faces on them and then it says um want to chill out in this cute little font um there's two different fonts mixed with it want to chill out and then there's this 
like cute little ice cream truck with an ice cream turned over on it and I don't know what else is on there it's kind of hard to see with it being the rubber and as I'm sure it is for you and this one has a little cute scent in it with the two different fonts it says I like you more than ice cream so my husband really likes ice cream so that would be nice if he gave me a card like that I always tell him I said one day you need to go up to my craft room let's hope it's not soon because my craft room is in shambles due to my d stashes i just did a d stash video before this and i have to do more but my my uh craft room is in shambles because i'm clearing out d stashing reorganizing reintroducing myself to things that may have been put away that i forgot that i had you know that sort of thing so there's stuff all over the place so he would have a heck of a time as though he wouldn't already even if it was clean making a card but i always say you know you'll have to make me a handmade card one day i won't care what it looked like he's like you're gonna judge me i said no i'm not so that would be fun so anyway thank you for sticking through this really long video if you did I'll make sure you leave a comment below if you would be interested in um, just to get an idea for me and my uh, die cut swap and I'll go over the rules and everything and there will be another video so this if you comment on here it's just to kind of give me an idea I'm going to do an actual video and I will let you know everyone know because it'll have to I'll have to go in order um, of who made it in the um, before I have to go to a limit um, to end the swap but this is just a check interest and um, I think a lot of you were into this one before so hopefully you're still around and you will be again I just wanted to wait until, not that I'm ever going to have time, but I just wanted to wait until I, there was a point in time I was so, so busy. So things are getting a little bit less hectic. They're always going to be hectic, so I just have to face it and still get the things done I want to do instead of just saying, I'll wait till I'm less busy. You can't wait. So anyway, anyone interested in that, let me know and we'll go from there. I hope you enjoyed watching um, my haul and um, I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.